it became obvious to me that I have been confronted with two different paradigms and I have been told that both of them are true and it can't be possible. One was the New Testament, which, which is, very, is probably the most moral, ethical document known to man. It is fantastic. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and argue the historicity and, and try to tell you what's fact or fiction and if the man Jesus existed or didn't. I'm just talking about just the red letter portions of the New Testament, the things that were actually said by Jesus, whether they come from older documents or whether Jesus was real or not, it doesn't matter. What is being said is so morally and ethically pure. I do not believe another document has ever matched it in its authenticity and its spiritual teachings. It's awesome. This is why every single person that was healed in Jesus' presence, even those who didn't ask for his healing, who just reached out and touched him, Jesus instantly rebuked them every time when they praised him. He said, I didn't have anything to do with healing you. you your faith has made you whole. Because everything that I had learned as a child from the New Testament and my studies in prison, I saw two different Christianities being 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 demonstrated throughout the New Testament, but they're not even remotely connected in any way to the spiritual teachings of the Old Testament. It's like it's a totally different God. It is an angry God. It is a jealous God. It is a God that commands his servants to impale their enemies. One of the most excruciating and painful deaths in the world because it took 16 hours to four days to die like the Babylonian Genesis, the seven tablets of creation called Anima Elish, from which we got the seven days of creation in Genesis. We got the abbreviated version, but the whole version is found on the Babylonian Anima Elish, word for word. And we can see where all these elements from the Old Testament actually derive. When it comes to the Phoenix phenomenon, every 138 years, it only affects those vibrating on certain frequencies because we live in two different realities. Nothing else makes sense to me. I don't understand how some people could live through these 138 year resets and have no evidence whatsoever.